drop underway here at Mattamy. First night game in Toronto. And it's their fifth of the season. Boston's third after having a game postponed. And they're coming off a big overtime winner in Montreal on the weekend. Meanwhile, Toronto looking to bounce back after a Saturday loss at home. They are bringing the pressure in the offensive zone. And just as quick, Boston is playing it forward. Okay. Well, you certainly know that Toronto is going to look to dictate pace. You see the early dump in, but they got to watch the Boston offense. I mean, it is layered, it is heavy. All four lines can score, and they'll transition quick. Looking for a physical game. Both coaches well aware of what these two teams can bring already early on in the season. Far side in the Toronto zone, fast. Will carry it forward, plays it up to Turnbull. Turnbull again looking for her first point of the season. And I like that she recognized that there is responsibility wearing the C, and you do wear it when your team isn't winning, but she's a leader and she's got game. Look at her on the forecheck. She's got the puck too. She chips it back, kept in by Monroe. She gets a bump from Lauren Gable. Now Brittany Howard chasing it down far side. Plays on Emily Brown in the mix for Boston defending Mueller as well, trying to get her stick on it. Well, you notice that Toronto certainly playing along the boards. Shops all with a little tap, and now a chance for Boston. Mueller shoots, and it's saved by Campbell. Mueller still looking for her first goal as well after being taken third overall in the draft. Well, and that is a line that Toronto is going to have to be aware of with Gable, who is a shooter. We talked to Courtney Kessel about her, said arguably the quickest release in the world. And then you've got Shavzal, who's been very impressive as well. So you've got a line that can transition, they can move the puck, and they can put it in the back of the net. Boston back in their own zone. Geronimo trying to play it away, bringing it up. But it'll be calm for now. Stick handling. Back to the point. LaRock shoots it down low, chips it off the end board, fast to collect it near side. She puts on some speed, looks for a little play. Can't quite do it. And so Boston now, Rattray chips it up. Rattray, the points leader for Boston with three assists in two games. Well, and she's one of those athletes that can change the temperature of a game. I call her the emotional barometer of the team. She knows exactly what she needs to do. She's versatile. And in one shift, she can change the game. And Sophie Jakes just played the puck, and it's a homecoming for Sophie Jakes of Boston. She's from Toronto. Now Hillary Knight comes in. Campbell reads it. A bit of a scrum in front of the net, able to push the rebound into the near corner. Surely in the mix for Boston. Now Hannah Branch, who got that tying goal in that Montreal home opener on Saturday. And here's a big chance. Sarah Nurse coming in close. She scores? No. <laughs> There's a bit of confusion there, but you're seeing the quick transition of this line with Alina Mueller. You head man the puck, and then all of a sudden, the delay there in that high slot to get that quick release shot off. And now, of course, Toronto is going to get an opportunity on the power play. Sarah Nurse gets in from the far side. She has that wide stance. She cuts in, and that's a stick on her. So Toronto will go to the power play right now. One for nine, though. They're going to have to find a way to execute early in this game. Yeah, just the fourth best overall power play, but of course, sample sizes are a bit mixed here, so Soderbergh stays good on that one. It's a five on four for Toronto, and that one just skims by. LaRock is right there. And the point, Buck goes loose, Nurse. Uh, and Toronto will certainly like who's in the box. And, and Megan Keller, <laughs> a, a strong defender who activates and also can shut down any rush. Connors over to LaRock. LaRock plays it fast. And the Rock tees it up for Connors and fast right there. Fast again. Boston. Gigi Marvin out there as well. Veteran player. Now in front again. Soderbergh definitely covers that one. No trick of the eye on that one, Cheryl, for me anyway. They've got it all locked down. Well, and you know if Natalie Spooner's around the net, you're gonna get a dead angle shot. She'll be at the top of the crease or she'll be coming from behind the net. And it's exactly what she wants, to be able to come down and hit someone diving down to get a quick release shot off. Sort of a hug in the post, makes the save. What I like, no second shot opportunity. All right, and again, Toronto on a power play. Their first of this game, Kaylee Flanagan now. 
Over to Howard, shoots, and that one chips off the body, but that's that Howard shot that head coach Troy Ryan's been waiting for. That was an absolute bullet. And taking away the eyes of Soderbergh, Blair Turnbull, the captain, hanging out right out front. Turnbull to Flanagan, passes it back. A little bit of patience now, some speed. Malte out there, rims it around. Howard to collect near side. Back to Turnbull. They've got a little bit of time left now, and there's a shot long. Boston tries to clear it down deep. Flanagan pushes it forward for Toronto. That time, Malte's body there. But Gerard, who already has a shorthanded goal on the season. Well, she was all over Flanagan, but Flanagan's pretty shifty herself, and the reason she's out there, she can manipulate the offensive blue line. Oh, Hannah Miller coming in with speed. And right there was Rebecca Leslie, but Soderbergh again really dialed in, covers up. And Toronto again with offensive zone pressure here. They get to score in the first period. They get to open scoring as well in any of their games. Coming in with a lot of strength there. They did have that power play. But a successful kill for Boston. And Boston again now looking to clear it. Flanagan can't quite get her stick on it. But Keller chasing now off to the bench. Sarah Nurse trips up. It slips up rather. It's good. And on they go. Boston bringing it now back behind the net of Campbell. They just got two shots on goal so far. And that'll be a tripping call coming against Boston, at least a delayed call. Maggie Connors, though, weaving through. And there's the whistle. Well, speed makes your opponent vulnerable, and that's exactly what happens to the neutral zone. And Hannah Brand's going to plead her cause, but the official is not going to buy it here. Shielding that puck, and she forces Megan Keller to get a stick on her, and that's going to be an infraction. And yet again, just coming to the inside of the ice as she cuts, she gets taken down by Hannah Brandt. And so now, a second power play opportunity for Toronto. Turnbull takes that draw. Flanagan from the point. That one right in front of Motulim. The bell and a little feed there from Howard just below the goal line. Poulin LaBelle teeing it up, trying to pass it around. Captain Trumbull out there. Molte right in front of the net. Now Howard again tees up, shoots. Wide, Poulin LaBelle. Scoops it up, big shot. That one off the body of a Boston player. Emily Brown, who else? She's blocked a few already. Well, Howard Vicks is from the exact same spot. You can see Emma Molte popping down low and then popping high into the bumper position. Well, Howard with some speed now near corner. The team gets set up in the slot. Some bodies right there, but Boston in the way. And again, Howard tees it up. Oh, that's a hard one right into Jessica DiGirolamo. We have to take a look sometimes. That was a forced one. It was a spin and fire, a little bit of a double pump as well. You allow your opponent to get into that shooting lane. And Jocelyn LaRock, she tries to tee it up. And it'll go into the Toronto zone. Puck has not spent too much time on this side of the ice in this first period. Shots on goal, very tentative at this time. Sarah Nurse with speed, far corner. She rims around. Go five on four here for Toronto's second power play of the game. Digging into the near wall. LaRock over to Spooner. Spooner tees it up, shoots into the glove of Soderbergh. Well, this is some speed, and the hardest thing to do on a power play is to get into the zone, and Toronto doing a real nice job with the setup. They actually bring four players back, and look at the motion, filling every lane, and that allows Sarah Nurse to get it on the far side with some speed, cut to the middle of the ice. Now they have their setup, and that is exactly what you want. Comper in the neutral zone this time, just final seconds here as Boston's Hannah Brandt gets out on the ice immediately into the zone here, in the Toronto zone. And now a chance in front for Knight. That one batted away by Campbell. Near side, Keller keeps it in for Boston. Tees it up, long shot, that off the glass. Campbell had her hand up, though. And now Toronto, even strength, Copper with a nice pass to LaRock. LaRock 
Drives towards the net, shoots. And Leslie right there, Spooner scores! Toronto's goal. And it's Hannah Miller who gets the job done. Toronto scoring in the first period, something they've never done. Opening scoring as well. Well, it's all about driving the net. And look at the pass, cross feed. And it's going to be the defender and Jocelyn LaRock, a little bit of a shield, and just bring it to the net on the back end. Melee ensues, and Megan Keller's caught by the goal line as she follows the puck. So that's your defender, that's your veteran, 35-year-old Jocelyn LaRock, taking it right to the paint. And then you got players all around trying to find and collect that rebound as it comes off that left pad of Soderberg. And she is showing some athleticism to make that first save, but she can't make the second or third when you've got two bodies around. And Hannah Miller puts it in. Flanagan tees it up for Leslie. Toronto immediately putting the pressure back in the Boston zone. Get earliest gold score for Toronto, second ever on home ice. Campbell plays it up, fast is there. Maybe Boston's Gable trying to get it loose. And that is, of course, her first of the season for Hannah Miller. Lots of firsts still on the board for both these teams, just coming into this 10 players each with at least one point. But I like the net drive and the attack mentality in and around the net, like a dog on a bone. Just keep going. Find the loose puck, recover it, put it in. And Toronto right in front of the net that time. Back into the near wall. Boston's Shossel. Oh! That one off the leg of Poulin LaBelle. But it's interesting, on the goal too, Megan Keller was communicating. You could see her talking to her forwards, communicating who to take. And this wound up lost in it with that rebound. Anytime there's a shot, guess what? You have to turn and try and corral that puck. And Toronto again. Pressure now from Rougeau. That loosens it. Willoughby's got room. She makes the pass over to Fast. Quick redirect, Fast. Tees up a shot. No, just off the stick. Lots of speed again into the near corner. There's that physical play from Boston. Has to be cut in front. Soderbergh with a big stop. And now Willoughby tries to chip another. Willoughby down low. Toronto again with pressure in the Boston zone in front. Flanagan collects it far side. He's got Vasco in the mix. And Rattray tees it up over to Brown. Boston just trying to get some sustained pressure in the Toronto zone. Well, and, and you can see Jamie Rattray hard on that puck. I think she's one of the greatest players from the hash marks down below. And now a chance, right? Brandt, she gets caught up on LaRock. And so Toronto takes it away in the glove of Keller. Great vision on the ice. Now Jakes. And I like that Megan Keller plays with the young Jakes coming out of Ohio State. So you've got a veteran with a lot of experience playing with the young athlete. They have two games in hand on Toronto. And right in front, Shirley misses that pass. It's a fast one. Di Girolamo sends it around. It's got Knight right there. Shirley's there too in front of the net. And a big shot by Di Girolamo off the bodies in front. I believe Rougeau got a piece of it now trying to work the puck herself, but Brandt will scoop it up for Boston. Trying to get her stick on it is Spooner. Di Geronimo. Now back behind the net, Knight. Can't quite control it, so Toronto will take it away. Maude Poulin LaBelle, far side, tries to weave her way in Boston. Picks it up. They've got Costa on it. Now Gerard, she fires one down. Tess Campbell turns it away. Boston again, Costa right there in the neutral zone. She's got Darkangelo on it now. Darkangelo in front of the net. Boston dives for it. Flanagan defends for Toronto, clears it out. Well, everyone close really quickly on Costa and didn't have a chance. She didn't have a chance to get that shot off. There's the icing call. A chance to just slow things down here, but 
There's the head coach, Courtney Kessel, and the national team herself, and U18 head coach of Team Canada last year. And she talked about just familiarizing her team so they, they recognize where each other are going to be on the ice. So getting good reads, and that's been the biggest difference bringing a team together like this that hasn't played in really only two games under their belt. And behind the net, LaRock gets to the puck first. Malte, the short pass to Turnbull. Weaves through, takes it near side. Turnbull shoots. Soderberg locked in. And a big save for Boston. Troy, your team has yet to score first in a, well, in a first period as well. They've done just that. What are your uh, thoughts so far? Yeah, I, I really like the energy our team came out with, getting pucks deep, getting below the goal line, trying to generate some offense. Obviously, I like to see the power play execute a little bit better, but so far, so good. Toronto 0 for 2 on the power play. They had three shots total, but of course, they did get that goal from Hannah Miller, her first of the season. Right in front, testing it is Malte. Drives that draw right there. Turnbull rims it around. Howard collects it right behind the net of Soderbergh. Back to Turnbull. But it's open ice and now a foot race, but Fast will get there. Look at the efficiency of her stride. Three strides and she's back to position in the middle of the ice. Wow. As a defender, Daniela, it is so critical that those first three strides in transition are fast and she's arguably the best in the world at it. And here she is again. Boston, surely trying to get there on the four check. Oh, Fratkin with a hit at the blue line. I'd say that's open ice contact, though. I've seen her lay it out a few times now, shutting down the blue line. Well, they play on now, but Dark Angelo can't keep it on her stick. She's getting bothered by Spooner Flanagan. But part of Toronto's success has been their motion and that first pass and then hitting the wide side and it's creating speed on entry. Maggie Connors was open to carry it over the blue line that time, near side. It's Boston as well getting caught up in the speed. Pelkey, she got that overtime winner in Montreal. A big first win for Boston this season. Again, just their third game. Natalie Spooner takes it herself. She carries, she shoots. And a big kick save by Soderbergh. Which is at far side. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure about the scouting report. Everyone's going block her side right now. We've seen Miller do it twice, and as well as Spooner coming down that right side of the ice. Jesse Comfort will try. Well, will she? She'll take it back behind instead. Plenty of pressure by Jessica DiGirolamo. And Toronto finds themselves in front of that loose puck. Barack working it back in the Toronto zone. Leslie to fast. Costa right there, though, and Boston now. I want to see fast minutes at the end of this game. Yes, she's playing a ton, no. isn't she? Absolutely. Seems like it. Seems like she's just out there the entire time. Costa opening. Create something there for Boston. Keller will take it from the center line. That is a great play by Megan Keller. She read that fast break. She read exactly where Leslie was, and she stepped up. Sophie Jakes from behind. Her own net here. Gerard, nice to tee it up. Disrupted by Jess Jones. And Toronto finding themselves chasing down Gerard. Berlin Lavelle settles it. Up to Vasco. Now Willoughby drives it in front. It's stopped by Soderbergh. And the key there is how Willoughby slashes across the ice with speed to be able to present her forehand. And when she does, she's able to break in. Flanagan up to Malte along the near side in blue, chips it down off the end boards. Sydney Morin flies up. Morin and Mueller were tied for shots on goal here for Boston coming into this. Brittany Howard facing that pressure from Boston back behind their net. Mueller also out there, number 11. And Turnbull turns it back. Boston gets a stick on it. Well, Boston's doing a good job of keeping this puck on the perimeter. And yes, it's been in their zone, but no damage, no harm, no foul when you can't get to the middle of the ice. And Monroe. Tees it up, Mueller back at it, Shirley, far side, drives it wide, and Nurse will collect it back behind the net of Campbell, nearly, but Knight in the mix too for Boston, Brandt 
Well, anytime you're in your own zone and you're along the boards and you've separated player from puck, that second quick, the second person in has to read whether you're vulnerable or not and be able to pick up that loose puck. Trying to read it and big pass up to Brandt. Getting plenty of defensive pressure from Fast. Now Knight has it. Along the goal line, has to tee it back near side this time. You saw Di Girolamo come in as well and just read that, get to the tops of the circles, puts it in. We talked to Courtney Kessel about her as well and said she should have her sights on 2030 in terms of making the national team, Olympics. She's The world is her oyster, a young defender who's got a lot of growth ahead of her. Now Leslie, she tries to play, getting held up by Pelkey. Boston bats it in. Final two minutes here in the opening frame, a fast first period at Mattamy. Rattray tees it up for Keller. Keller coming in close. Forced to redirect along the goal line fast. Carries it out now. Head up, head up. Back up to Hannah Miller, the goal scorer so far for Toronto. Well, Rebecca Leslie, you saw her charge up the right side of the wall, so that's exactly what Toronto's trying to do on their exit. They're trying to fly the zone on the strong side. So the same side out of the puck, try and push back the D to open up room. Keller takes it from Soderberg. Tries to tee up Schaffsel. Gabe, Gable, now Mueller. She's got some space, can't quite. Tees it up, long shot there. And Sophie Jakes enforces the action behind the net of Campbell. Final minute here. Winding down in the first period, and Boston with pressure. They want that equalizer early. Howard chips it down Brown. See how tightly connected Brown was to the player. That's what you like to see. You have a gap. Now, all of a sudden, you can crowd the puck and put it back in. And there she goes, diving down the wall. But it's Turnbull now taking it away. She's got speed, carrying it. Drop pass to Monroe. Boston brings it back the other way. Fast and Spooner. In blue. Along the near wall, kept in. Morin. Shirley's there. Same with Knight. No plenty of time, Boston. Mueller. Tees up DiGeronimo. And Captain Hillary Knight looking for her first point of the season. Gets stopped. Spooner scoops it up. Dishes it down. And the clock winds down on a massive opening period for Toronto and a 1 nothing lead over Boston. Welcome back to Madame Athletic Center. Toronto leads Boston 1 0 through the first period. I'm joined now by Boston's Megan Keller. Megan, talk about a first time meeting with Toronto. Is this kind of the pace and speed and physicality you were expecting? Yeah, we knew we were going to face a tough team tonight. We knew they were going to come out fast, play physical, so it's no shocker here. We just have to clean a few things up, simplify our game a little bit, and come back ready for the second. Can you give me some examples of what you would like to clean up, Megan? Although you've been playing uh, really well, Cheryl Pounder calling out a lot of your, your plays so far in the first period. Yeah, I mean, their they're D are pretty aggressive on the walls in our D zone, so if we could help our forwards out a little bit, have some cleaner breakouts, and hopefully send them on a few rushes, that'd be good. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. We get underway here for the second frame. Right away, Jakes tees it up. She's got Knight out there, too. What fast speed from Gable. They'll drive the action early here for Boston. Nurse takes it away. She drops it back for Connor. Shoots! What a save into the near corner. The rebound goes. And again, just a quick puck movement. Sometimes a simple pass is an effective one, and you create speed off of it, and that's how they got the entry. Sarah Nurse driving play from the outside. Little cross drop. Connors is right there. And now Boston is trying to get their sticks on it. They're in the Toronto zone. Jakes on the line. And that one just bounces off. Megan Keller was right there. Of course, had a chance to talk to her top of the first intermission. Nice job by Jakes there just to recognize where Connors was and stand her up. You want to shut down speed, you take it away in the neutral zone. Icing call will bring it back. 
Well, we talk about side. talk about Sarah Nurse and, and her speed now. She's directing play, and it all starts in the back end. She's moving, Renata Fast as headbands and pocket. Look at her on the outside. She knows she's coming in behind her. So she actually continues on. So Jake has to take her on the cross and drop. And now all of a sudden Connor's ice opens up for that lane. She takes the shot. So starting from the back end with a simple quick up. To nurse moving with speed, but I like the switches. I like those crosses, really disrupts coverage. Boston Draw will be in the Boston zone. Not an icing, a penalty rather. Hillary Knight as well for Boston. So this is Toronto's third power play of the game, unable to score on the first two. As the Boston penalty kill stays perfect. And again, a shorthanded goal frees a player from the penalty box, but. Haven't been a shorthanded chance yet. Boston just trying to clear the puck out. And as I say that, it looked like they were trying to get right to it, Boston. Now Turnbull. She sends it around the end boards, Malte. Battling for it. Puck goes up high, lands in. And now Gerard, she's already got a shorthanded goal. She'll take it around. Grant teed up in the slot, but the puck freed from the wall from Toronto. Behind the net, Foreigner surveys, carries it up. She's got Connors right there. Connors looking for her first point of the season. First goal. And again, they're able to get in because they bring those four players back and they have some speed. Natalie Spooner is all the way at the offensive blue line, circles into the Boston zone, so she's driven the D back. They have to honor her, and now that leaves the entire neutral zone to gain entry. So Renata, Renata Fast will take this one up, and then Connors feeling that pressure from DiGirolamo. Boston looking to stay perfect here, but Fast and now LaRock shoots that one up high. Connors gets it. Passes it up to Fast, but Pelkey with a hit. And it's a costly one. Uh, it's gonna be a roughing call here with only four seconds remaining on the power play for Toronto. Fast is going to go to the penalty box, so Boston will have a power play. And Right there, she takes the shoulder and just retaliates back, and the official is right there. A little bit of frustration, and the original Pelton, it'll be on Hillary Knight, and I'm not so sure about that after everything that is being let go. So right now, it's four on four, but final seconds winding down, and so Hillary Knight is out on the ice and immediately into the mix. She's on the near side. Big shot by Mueller that gets saved by Campbell. Leads it all the way through traffic. Well, and, and Boston operating, they've got three players up high, and now all of a sudden they're diving down with some speed. You can see the flank looking, and they get the shot on net. Now they can go to the net, and Hannah Brandt right in the wheelhouse. Sarah Nurse takes that draw, wins it for Toronto, but again, it is five on four for Boston. Marvin. You can see Gable coming in high, so they were three up high, and again, just trying to spread the penalty kill out a little bit. And when you attack down to the net, when you start up high, you've got a little bit of speed. Marvin up to Gable. Rock getting into the mix, digging it out. Board battle. Spooner in there, two in blue. Raftray trying to get her stick on it for Boston. It's Raftray and Monroe back behind the net. Trim it around. Morin. Tries to free it off the far wall, has it now. Rattray, he's got a big shot up high off the glass. Shoffsell with a big shot. Marvin, back to Morin, Morin through traffic. Turned away by Campbell and again in front of the net this time. Boston getting in close, Shoffsell. Right in front, that one, Gable. Uh, just chips high. Well, Jamie Lee Ratchard works from one side all the way to the other. And here comes Renata Fast near side. Tries to use her edge work to get by. Boston takes it away. Knight, far side. Plenty of pressure from Turnbull and Rougeau. 
And we're back to even strength, by the way. Both teams perfect on the PK. And in front, that could have been a chance for Toronto. Turnbull batting it in. She's got some space, and Howard can't get her stick on it. Boston comes free. Wenskowski circles back along the near wall. Keller tees it up and in front again. Keller calling for it. Mueller's as well in the slot. Knight back behind. Wenskowski adding that pressure for Boston. Looking for the equalizer here in the second period. Toronto hoping to clear it up with patience and Blair Turnbull. Boston again right in front. That one a big space saver there in the Malte, but the chase is on Brittany Howard and they go sliding together. An interference call. So 0 for 3 on the power play before this. It's something that head coach Troy Ryan said in the first period. Yeah, they got to they gotta really capitalize on. So here they go, a chance here to widen that gap. LaRock from the point. Boston's Emily Brown is right there. She's been aggressive, and she's been very strong for Boston, just closing quickly, using her stick to steer. That's what you want to do, push to the outside. Note also, Sarah Nurse in the bumper spot, not on the flank. Maggie Connors acting in that flank spot. You can have all the designs you want for a power play, but Boston's penalty kill is shining as well in this game. And Nurse now cutting through. She's got some room. Pass as uh, Connors will tee it up, but they'll send it around. Spooner out there. But Toronto's doing a good job getting into the zone, which is rare, you know. It's hard to get in. That's the number one set. But once they do get in, they're coming under intense pressure, and they're not getting grade-A scoring chances. Spooner sends it to Howard. Howard now trying to find her space top of the circle. Sends it the other way. Big shot by Hannah Miller, but Soderbergh is all over it. Well, and that's exactly what you want. You need a goaltender like Soderbergh going side to side, left to right, east to west. you got to make her move because if you're shooting square to her, she's going to stop it. And that's a nice play by Brittany Howard to take space, walk to the middle of the ice. She gets all the coverage to, to float towards her on one side to come to her. So then she hits Miller on that back door, but Soderbergh read it perfectly. Toronto on their fourth power play here. Sending it back and forth. Howard sets up the shot. That one just wide. Miller can't get her stuck on a Flanagan chases it down. But talk about Soderbergh as well. Just incredible for Minnesota Duluth. And she might get tested again. Toronto brings the action right down deep. 20 seconds left here on this fourth power play. That first goal, by the way, even strength for Toronto. Far wall. Howard and Keller getting into it. Malte try to do it for the team. And Blue Miller settles it back. Passes forward to Turnbull. Keller turns it away. And we're back at even strength. So 4-4-4 four, four, four on the penalty kill for Boston. Uh, and, and some miscues too on the shots. Howard had two or three misses. Comper. Skates it around, sends it back to Willoughby. Willoughby's had a good look already in this game. Near wall, up high towards the net. Giorgio beats Willoughby to it. And Keller now to Costa. Low rock tries to keep it in on the blue line. It catches bodies. Uh, and you see all five players back in the picture, if you will. And once that puck turns over, they're all hanging out at the blue line. They're forcing that dump in. Warren just sends it down deep fast. Back to Comfer. Toronto trying to work it out of their own zone. Boston has a Knight is right there as well on the ice. She's in the slot. Knight up to Morin. Back behind the net. Mueller, too, right there. And Campbell gets her glove on it. And of course, some words. Some pushing and shoving will have to take place. Well, they've met on the international stage before. Lena Mueller with Switzerland, and of course, we're not the fast on the back end for Canada. Now you're Toronto versus Boston, and <laughs> she looks like she's having fun. Ah, they're having fun. Of course, they're having fun. And 
Jocelyn Rock is even smiling as she talks to the official. And Renata Foss plays with an edge. There's no, no question about it. And so does Alina Mueller. When, when you're one of the most gifted goal scorers in the world, you know that you're going to come under intense pressure if you get in and around the goaltender. And Renata Foss just made sure that she just didn't get another tap at Kristen Campbell. Keller takes it near side this time. She's got pressure from Spooner. And again, Toronto takes it away. Nurse to Monroe through the skates. Monroe keeps it down deep in the Boston zone. Those shots on goal spreading out here as Toronto 14 to 6. They have had four power plays to just one for Boston. Both teams perfect on the penalty kill. Howard with speed over to. Turnbull coming in close. Turnbull right there in front of the net and a collision. But Boston moves it back the other way. Nearly does Rougeau. Able to save it there for Toronto, sending it back towards the net of Soderberg. Another chance, potentially Emma Malte. Up to fast Little Rock again. Elke trying to get low off the body. Comfer set up right in front of the net, too, and there. Chipped off, Soderberg got a piece of it. Malte. Pass back. And that physical hits continue. Boston had the edge in the first period on that physical play. Now Spooner sees it up. Big shot down. Oh, and it bounces the crowd. Watching it. Now fast again. Skates backwards in through. Bomber right there. LaRock as well. And the loose puck gets away from the net. Fast collects it. Toronto again looking to add to their lead. And what a block by Pelkey there, just sacrificing her body for Boston. But well, there's three beautiful plays by Renata Fast to open up her own lane. And that's just her edge work along the blue line and having the patience to outweigh the stick. And what I mean by that, get the stick to move of your opponent and then take your lane. And she can do that because with one stride, she can open it. Toronto seemingly coming alive at night, the first nighttime game at Mattamy. Now Sarah Nurse getting in close to the net. She feeds it through Connors, chips it up high. What a chance. Monroe to Connors again, and there's some space for Spooner in front. Teed up to Connors. Almost the same play as Nurse. One is a left, though, and one is a right, so the shield was just a bit different. Spooner again to Connors, now Boston. My goodness. Connors getting teed up. Now Gable, she's got Mueller right there, shoots, and they score! Boston does it. They get on the board in Toronto. After playing their hearts out to stop another Toronto goal on the other end. Well, and this is like a four-point play in basketball. Look at the shield and then the feeds and Connors who just misses the net. The puck goes the other way and when it does, that's Alina Mueller. Yes, we talked about her off the top. Look at her, her awareness, the pop off of the boards. And Lauren Gable, one of the reasons why they moved Knight off her line. She looked to only feed Knight, and she's got one of the best releases in the world. They want this woman shooting the puck. Everywhere she goes, she scores. She picks that top Jetta shelf, and she nails it. And you saw it in the celly. That's going to be her first. But the PHF MVP last year, 40 points in 22 games. Puck is on her stick. It hops off in a hurry. Now Lauren Gable. What a beauty of a first goal. But Turnbull wants to turn the tide, get that lead right back. She forces the play behind the net of Soderbergh. Campbell hardly facing the same volume of shots. Exactly half at this point, but move the action down. Now Howard getting spun around in blue. Morin chips it off the near wall this time. LaRock. Emily Brown. She looks for a big stretch fast to Rattray. Well, you talk about the chemistry of line mates and Alina Mueller, just her awareness through the neutral zone and knowing exactly where Gable was on the ice. And look at this, the sliding. Callie Flanagan and thinking the top shelf is Lauren Gable. And that's what she's known for, Daniela. It's that quick release, but getting to the spots on the ice to be able to get that shot off. And a more physical game, so process and learning here, but man, did she ever bury that?
Brandt wins the defensive zone draw for Boston, but still got to dig it out. And there's Jess Jones working back and forth trying to find that space far side. Willoughby looking to get a stick on it. Vasco calling for it in the slot. Now Jones again. They'll try to find that movement. What a feed there. Big shot. No, Rougeau plays patient, shoots. She's got Willoughby far side. Back on the goal line, Just Jones in close. Vasco for Toronto. Back behind the net of Soderbergh. Morin passes it back to Brown up to Rattray. They connect that time. Rattray rims it around. Now she's forced to rim as Flanagan comes off the bench in a hurry and closes quickly. But now Keller able to tee it back. Jake's trying to get it out. And Comfer with control and a big shot to Leslie. Talked about it before, those two are besties on and off the ice. Well, and, and Comfort in front of the net and along the boards. Excellent. Now Nicole Costa, she's looking for the feed. Jake's right there off Comfort that time. Now Hannah Miller, she open scoring for Toronto. Eyes up, eyes up! She looks for the pass, that one. Picked off by Boston and now Gerard. Well, you got to manage the puck. It's a 1 1 game, and the blue line turnovers, they're killers. Got to make sure when you, anytime you get to the blues, you hold the puck. Sarah Nurse this time, but that Boston wall closes right in. Forces Toronto back into their own zone this time, fast, just covering bodies, smothering the play, and so Toronto takes it. Spooner now tries to get that by Fracken, Fracken. Hillary Knight with plenty of room. She'll shoot wide. Boston again, Fracken looking for space on the ice. Mueller tries to get her stick on it and Knight and Connors both come down on that one. We'll have to make it a nice play. Fracken just fires that up the boards. I think she could have used the width of the ice and gone back to her partner, DiGirolamo. Fast again, we've been saying her name just all over the ice in this game. Nurse lays it up to LaRock, back to Connors. And you're seeing the connection there on the entry. Just three four foot passes, little pop plays, and that's how you keep your speed. Now DiGirolamo getting hounded by Howard. And Nurse. No, Monroe actually shooting towards the net that time. Flanagan keeps it in on the blue, but chipped down by Fratkin. Well, Toronto hoping to score off the draw. Monroe tees it up, Soderbergh. She's got it with a big save. Boston head coach Courtney Kessel, we chatted just before the game, you talked about Lauren Gable's shot. So when you saw that go in, is that exactly what you've been anticipating? Yeah, I think we've been waiting for that these last two games, so it was really good to see her put that one away. And overall, a bit of a shift here in the second period. Are you happy with how your team's putting things together? Yeah, definitely. We got to stay out of the box. Uh, you know, it's killing our momentum, but we're, we're doing well here. We've got three minutes left. Thank you so much. Thank you. but her team has been so good on the penalty kill when you consider Toronto's first goal having to come at even strength and they've had four chances with the player advantage but here they are again five on five and in the Boston zone Leslie circles back he's up Monroe getting in on it or at least Comfer trying to get on Pelkey Pelkey poised but again Anna Miller she shoots wide Monroe Tess Soderberg off the pad that time. And again, Toronto regains on the rebound. Leslie circles back to number 19's at it. All of the pressure. That one by Marvin now. Connors has the puck for Toronto. Drops it back to Leslie. Leslie with a little feed to Flanagan. She shoots. Nope, that one behind the net. Now Flanagan again. She's open for a wraparound, maybe a little tip in action. And the puck is loose. Poulin LaBelle protects for Toronto. It's Marvin 
sends it back. Well, Gigi Marvin, the three-time Olympian, been to th seven world championships. I mean, the list goes on and on. The 36-year-old, she's back on the ice. Love it. And then 35-year-old LaRock, she sends it back. I mean, talk about veterans of this game. So much star power on the ice. Here comes Jakes. She sends it to Mueller. And Nothing beats watching your favorite team live. Get tickets to BWHL games and catch all of the action. Visit thepwhl.com slash tickets to secure your seats today. And in the stands here at Mattamy, the family of Toronto's Renata Fast, if you're looking from left or right, her husband, two brothers, and then her mom, Sharon, dad, dad Doug, and they're all here to see her playing one of her best games yet. Yeah, I mean, she's been a dynamo on the ice. I just like that she's moving the puck when she should. She's activating and controlling those entries when she can. And she's taking shots when the lanes open up. So, doing it all on both ends of the ice. Emma Malte thought she had some room, but she just gets squeezed out. Tries to get it back. Keller with the pressure for Boston. Turnbull has it. And Gable. Now Mueller will take it from the neutral zone. Now Mueller. She was looking for the ball off the post. And that was a big time moment there. What a saucer. Over to Howard. Down deep. Howard, in the Boston zone. Howard took a double take, looked twice just to see if she had come anyone joining her on that rush. Got Mueller again and a big shot by Keller. It's good. Boston scores. And it's Megan Keller who does it. Well, Megan Keller, she is so offensive, but she jumps into the holes on the ice, and this is the high ice, and it comes right from the other end, just throwing it into the middle of the ice in the quick transition, and anytime you're moving and you're entering, look at the stall and the slow up by Mueller. Why? She wants to draw the coverage to her, and she does. When you swipe your stick, she's gonna move that puck to the inside. Look at the slow up. She's looking, she's scanning, pulling it to the middle of the ice on Flanagan and gets all of the coverage to sag. That's exactly what she wants to do. This is IQ for Lena Mueller. She steps inside the dots to draw that coverage to open up that space for Megan Keller to pop into it perfectly. Twine, it's all it takes. And so Boston now with a 2-1 lead in Toronto. This is where Toronto has been before, of course. Come on, come on, come on. Team from behind. They have one win on the season in their first four games. Again, they are out shooting Boston at this time. 15 to 7. Last minute play in the second period. In Toronto. Goes back Leslie now. She'll take it away. She shoots towards and then Soderbergh. With the save. My goodness, Jesse Comfer as well. Wow, well, he's coming in close. We talk about Comfer being in and around the goaltender, and she gets lost in coverage, and she does a real good job. I've been watching her all game, just getting her sick on that. The extra whack, though, she's lucky she didn't get the call here, but just getting in behind the coverage, you can see the Girolamo kind of fronting her, I'm watching her all game long, just trying to manipulate space in and around Soderbergh, changing up her body position to be able to get her sick on the puck. 44 seconds left here in the second period. A big one for Boston. Despite all the pressure from Toronto, and so we'll come back to the Toronto zone. Mueller there, Knight as well on the ice. Marvin sends it back around, Captain Knight. Looks for Mueller this time. Mueller, Brown, back over to Morin in front. Traffic, Spooner hopes to clear it. Toronto. Nurse, she'll circle back, slow it down. Final seconds here in the second period. Nurse would like to get things going. Connors with a feed that time. Spooner, far side, sends it back. Back to Nurse shoots, and what a save by Soderbergh to close out the second period. And really, Soderbergh is such a big part of this story for Boston. Look at the shots on goal. She has made 16 saves to Campbell's six. And right now, Boston will lead 2-1. I'm joined now by Toronto's Kaylee Flanagan and 
Kaylee, the team has looked so together through these first 40, but what are you seeing out on the ice? Yeah, I think this has been our first, uh, you know, our best 40 minutes so far. I think obviously a couple of little blips there, but I think for us, um, just getting back to that momentum and getting back another side of the score sheet is going to be huge for us. But I know this team is really starting to come together, starting to gel, feel some chemistry, and so it's been a lot of fun out there tonight so far. Four games played heading into this one, and Toronto has been in this position before, trailing. What are you going to do, or what are you focusing in on for this uh, final period? Yeah, I think, you know, again, like I said, getting back to how we were in the first period, just moving pucks, working together as a team. And, and like I said before, we're really starting to get, come together as a team. And so I think that's what's going to be really important for us in this third period is, you know, just playing together as a team, being energetic, um, you know, supporting each other and getting some pucks to the net. And I think, you know, things will start to come together for us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Toronto will get the first touch here in the third period. Kristen Campbell in net in blue. She has faced far fewer shots on goal. It's been it's exactly at half here. 18 to 9 to start this third period. Spooner goes forward near their corner. And again, some plenty of pressure by Toronto in the first 40. And right in front, Soderberg tested early in the third. I think Sarah Nurse just wanted to see if she could get Soderbergh cheating off her post a little bit there. A little bit of a trick shot. And the Soderbergh's first PWHL start. Third game for Boston overall. There was Aaron Franklin at the first two games. They're one and one on the season. And now, coming in. What a play there to stop that Toronto. Hannah Brandt, chase it down for Boston. Along the wall, Shoffsall gets shuffled. Rattray has it, looks for the feed to Brandt. It's loose in the neutral zone. Morin scoops it back, getting bothered by Howard. Whoa! Howard has it now, takes it far side. Emily Brown for Boston, and in front of the net, that one, Malte. It'll be Rattray. Boston will just dump it down. Me <laughs> Howard stopped by DiGeronimo. And, and that's something DiGeronimo does extremely well. She closes quickly. Her angle was perfect. Even if she didn't lay that check on, she could have steered and, and taken that puck. And chases on Comfer. Marvin gets hers to kind of Pelkey. Tease it up. She's got Shirley there, but it's Leslie. Serves it down low for Toronto in the Boston zone. And Toronto looking for the equalizer here. They open scoring. First time for them in the PWHL. Has not truly been a home ice advantage here at Mattamy. Uh, and there's Leslie in the neutral zone. Uh, again, we've been watching her turning and going, just moving up ice quickly. Now Leslie, she shoots towards, back behind. Poulin LaBelle, Maggie Connors there too. Well, Poulin LaBelle skates into the coverage and dishes it out to Leslie. Continues driving through the middle of the ice. Now Flanagan, she tries to take it away. And that'll be penalty going against Boston. Big opportunity here for Toronto. They're trying to get that equalizer. Spooner out on the line. Captain Turnbull. Howard, she drives the action in front. Turnbull right there. Boston pokes it free. Now back, Malte. The speed pass to Howard. Teed up, Flanagan in front. Now again, Howard drives it in front. Soderbergh, read, read, read. And there, Toronto just trying to bat it in. They try again, whatever it takes. Miller out there to Flanagan from the point this time. That one off the body of Soderbergh. Deflected near side, Flanagan has it. Once again for Toronto, sustained pressure. And they go around Flanagan to Howard. Howard shoots and can't get the tip in there by Turnbull. Miller gives it away. Flanagan shoots. 
through traffic into the glove of Soderbergh. Wow, Soderbergh has been able to find the puck. She's tracked extremely well, but sometimes it's a fortuitous bounce and there's a little bit of a melee in front of the net on the power play here by Toronto as the puck comes out. You see the backhand by Howard on that. Soderbergh can't find it. Look at her sprawling, the athleticism, and that's going to be, it's going to be Morin who gets down and blocks that, keeps that puck out of the net. Four big shots on goal for Toronto in that part of their fifth power play. They've yet to score on it. Now Nurse, she's in front. The Rock tries to keep it in fast as well. But Boston, now back to Nurse. She'll tee up La Rock this time. 40 seconds left in Toronto's fifth power play of the game, and they're looking for that equalizer. Well, D'Arcangelo, number 27 for Boston, at the top of the PK, just steering to the boards. But here comes Maggie Connors through traffic. She'll manage to get the shot off despite the disruption by Fratkin. Well, she's had a lot of good looks tonight, and the compliments of Sarah Nurse, who, who left one on her doorstep earlier, as well as Natalie Spooner, she's just unable to convert. Giving by is Mi uh, Keller, rather. Many in the stands tonight trying to cheer Toronto onto a home victory, but they're trailing. Still have time on the power play. Well, that has expired, him, but in front of the net, Soderbergh! Does she have it? She manages the save there. There's only a couple seconds left on the expiring penalty, so on a win, they were reading a hard rim. See if they can catch anyone here, and that hard rim comes, but not hard enough. And being able to see the wall, keeping that puck in, and you can see exactly where Miller is net front with Megan Geller, who's got a stick on her. The neutral zone drawn just outside the Boston zone. Mueller wins it over to Keller. Back up, but it's intercepted. At least LaRock tries to. It's back in the Boston zone. On the attack is Turnbull, but plenty of pressure. Boston, Keller. Tries for the centering feed. Here's well take, shoots, and it's high off the glass that time. Fast right there. Can't quite keep it in for Toronto. Howard now. Looking for the play, LaRock. Off the end boards with speed, but Knight stops that effort. Back the other way is Boston. They'll go for the switch. For the change, rather, and Nurse gets by, feeds it up to Connors. Fratkin. That is a great job by Fratkin. Now in front again, Nurse. Spooner was right there. That net front presence that Spooner has taken on. And coming in with speed, surely with help from Pelkey. Spooner scoops it up, dishes it over to Connors again. Now up to Nurse this time. Nurse is trying to get by Marvin. Spooner set up in front of the net. Boston Shirley changing the pace slightly. She was trying to put the puck in behind the defender for Pelkey, just electing to feather the puck in, just not hard enough. Oh! The center line that time, Costa. He gets down. And again, not much. I mean, what else can you say about Boston's defense? The PK perfect through five short-handed times. And now Toronto looking to make good. Hannah Miller got that. Opening goal for the home team, Leslie. Rebecca Leslie tees it up, shoots towards it in front, and it's good! Toronto! With their second goal to tie things up. The home crowd has been waiting for it. You love to see it, and it looks like Anna Miller will lead the way. Her second goal of the season and of the night. Well, this is going to come off of a turnover. It almost looked like Boston was going to get the puck out of their zone. And uh, has a nice close gap here. And you can see just not able to get that puck out and converging on it right there. Leslie with the crossing feed in front of the net, but picking up the rebound here. Look at Leslie just drawing to the middle of the ice. And there it is, Miller as Hoffer got a stick on it as well. But Leslie made a real nice play. Toronto finds themselves in the offensive zone. Captain Turnbull takes it away, drives it in front. But 
puck gets loose, and Keller right there to scoop it outside. And Malte trying to fight for it. Keller again chips it off the glass. Rattray will do the same, and that one goes into the Toronto bench. Yeah, and Rattray just tried to put it off the boards and puts it in, but talk about a beautiful opportunity for player Turnbull and what she's done in this game. We've seen some end-to-end -end action, but how some inside loss of coverage here. And the Malte pops up high, and look at that outside. Honoring Malte is Sophie Jake. She recognized she's got a bit of a two-on-one there, and Claire Turnbull, the benefactor of a glorious opportunity, but Soderbergh, whew, to task. Now Turnbull driving the action into the, well, in the Toronto zone, rather, after Hillary Knight brought it down low for Boston. Again, Hillary Knight still looking for her first point of the season. It is just Boston's third game being re reunited now with, with Mueller. And now a chance right into the glove of Campbell. Reads that easy. Offensive zone possession, and Courtney Kessel goes back with Hillary Knight, Mueller, as well as Lauren Gable. You look at up and down this lineup, you know that there's just a ton of offensive production. Now, as you watch the veteran come out and Gigi Marvin, who Courtney Castle says she has just been so professional and added such a presence to this team. Marvin wins it for Boston, but they got to fight for it now. Sophie trying to get her stick on it in white. Plenty of support in front. That one redirected by Miller. We're in Hattrick watch for number 34, but here is a chance for Morin. And that one picked up by Leslie. She's got to force it low, though. Morin takes the bump in the end boards, and back at it is Leslie. She's got Miller teed up. Comfer's right there. Flanagan near side. Boston has the lead on the hits in this game so far. Right now, all things tied at two in Toronto. Flanagan looks for Leslie, and that just bounces. And you see pressure through the neutral ice by Gigi Marvin as well to force Leslie to put that puck in the net. Well, Knight driving up the near side. She's got Gable right there. Knight scooping around. Just got to get off fast. And in front, Campbell. She's got some help there. Nurse and Spooner able to send that away. Keller again, and Spooner capitalizes, takes it near side. Natalie Spooner shoots. Soderbergh turns it away. LaRock again with a shot on net. Toronto with the pressure. Back LaRock, they're teed up in the Boston zone. To get ahead here, they look for it. No, Boston now with a chance. Mueller feeds to Gable, loose, down low, fast. Sends it around, Natalie Spooner pretty much where she picked up the puck the last time. Well, back-to-back -back action here. Both teams going toe-to-toe -to -toe with scoring chances. Fast. Back behind the net, bounces off the end boards. They'll take that multi far side. And now DiGirolamo, she looks to feed it in. The bodies put it on the outside, Rattray. The puck flies down, fracking, chasing, but it will be ice. Uh, as mentioned, these two teams are going head-to-head -head right now. The game is on the line, and look at this. Boston up ice, and it's all about the speed, and that's Hillary Knight. She's drawing, she's drawing, she's shielding, and look at it. It's almost like a little bit of a triangle that comes down and gets a shot on net, and then Natalie Spooner with the takeaway there. Stick on stick, and then she wins that race with the puck. She's trying to establish the dot. She's on her forehand side. She wants to fight for that dot to get that shot off. But now in the Toronto zone, Fracken feeds it down low to Rattray. Again, Boston now, they've been out shot, but they're looking for that lead and it's run whole hard off that end board. The speed on that one. Rattray chasing it down fast first. Malte serves it back to Spooner, tries to. Boston in the neutral zone, tees up Rattray. She's got to get by LaRock in the glove that time. And the crowd loves it. Kristen Campbell comes in to keep things tied at two. Just under eight to go here in the third period. Boston in the Toronto zone. Brown takes it from the point down low. She's got Gable right there. Gable with two points in this game. Captain Knight in front. Tess Campbell, she stays steadfast. And again, from the same angle that time, Boston battles for a Toronto. 
on this Fast. one. This line Fight. in particular with Mueller is looking to, to form those tight triangles. And Captain Turnbull plays it down deep with the race for the puck. Gable tries to get it. Howard with some physical play, a penalty on the way. And so Soderbergh goes off. Empty net and there the touch by Toronto, but a big chance now for Boston to get going. Yeah, and this is a little bit of an undisciplined play, especially when it's 2-2. You want to make sure that you're playing physical, but you can't get the arms up, and it's going to be an elbow right there to the head, and that's going to send Boston to the power play. When you have players like Alina, Mueller, and Gable, who have certainly found their touch, this is an inopportune time to give them opportunity, and good to see Jamie Lee Rattray back out on the ice. Last time they were on the power play, Boston got three shots off on goal. They're going to try to get going here. They're looking to get ahead, get back the lead they had entering this period. Now Gable gets in close. Fast and Nurse playing on it tight. And plenty of pressure. Low Rock. She feeds it up to Nurse, who will just try to send it out, protecting the blue line is Marvin Rattray. Morin back up again. That time, LaRock's pass goes deep. Well, that one goes down, but I think the last one that got turned over, I think Schooner was looking for a quick little break here because we all know about the jailbreak. Yeah, score shorthanded, and if you get back your player, you also get that goal, which both teams so desperately want to get ahead, Monte. Far corner, Monroe with support in blue. Shirley and Brand fighting for it for Boston. They're in the Toronto zone. Chance on the power play. They've had one chance before this. All teams perfect on the PK night. Moves it back to Keller. Over to Mueller. Some patience, Brandt from the goal line. Mueller back to Keller. Feeds it night, shoots it off. The, off the elbow of Shirley, it seemed, actually. Now Keller far side again, Knight. Shirley in front, Brandt as well, and up and up. They thought they got something there. Mueller was all teed up. Keller back to Mueller. They'll try again this time. High slot, big shot off the body of Campbell. Well, Hillary Knight and Alina Mueller are both on their one-time sides. And I'm telling you right now, Hillary Knight shot that puck with a purpose bar pad for it to kick out to exactly where Mueller was. Well, 14 seconds left here for this Toronto PK. But what a chance for Boston that they had. It's time in the third starts to wind down. And they're back at even strength. Howard on the ice in Boston. Tries to feed it up. A chance for Comfer. She's got some space. And Fracken will deliver the hit on that one. Fracken got away with it there. Not just contact in open ice, but also interference. It's Comfer was away to the races. And we've seen some stand-ups here. Hillary Knight with a beautiful one-timer, but again, it's where in the placement, as you can see. Imagine those dual threats. That shot, one, and then two getting across Kristen Campbell. And then just as the puck comes down the other side, Confer's away to the races, and she's trying to drive, and she gets taken out by Fratkin. Well, Jamie Lee Rattray is playing alongside Marvin and Pelkey, the veteran line, shall we call them. But Jamie Lee Rattray is one of those players who can change a game on a dime. And whether she sees limited mission, minutes with the national team or whether she plays a ton here, here is a woman who makes a difference with every shift. And she is a momentum changer. So at this time of the game for Boston, she could be one to break the tie. And look down the bench, it really could be so many different players. And the same for Toronto. An abundance of riches on the ice right now. Now Spooner has it in the Boston zone. Again, tied to two here. It's been four and a half to go in the third period. On so, first, by the way, this down. is the most goals Toronto has Move scored at home as it is. Gotta push it. Only five goals for coming into this game. And Hannah Miller, by the way, both of those goals, but here comes DiGirolamo. Tries to send it down the rock, smothers the puck. Now tries to redirect fast, gets on it, but Mueller. She's got space. She'll tee up. DiGirolamo in front. That skims by stick side of Campbell. Gable for Boston. 
Serrano will chip it down. Scott Howard along the near wall. Captain Turnbull Flanagan, though. And here comes Shoffel with some speed. In through with the feed. Campbell stops it, deflects it away. And of course, a collision into the end boards, but that just part of the play. And so Flanagan will reset here for Toronto or try to as Shoffel does the same for Boston Brown. The pass just goes by Brandt. Fast collects it for Toronto. Far side. Again, Boston. Pelkey tees it up. She got the overtime game winner on Saturday. And there's the cover up by Campbell. Surely and fast having some words. Well, Shavzal out there with Jamie Lee Ratchet. We just finished talking about her and what she means here. But Shavzal with a nice play through the neutral zone on the takeaway and just that weight as Monroe slides in. That's Jamie Lee Ratchet. She's driving that far post. She gets taken down hard. You got to play her hard because anytime she gets below the tops of the circles, it's going to be like a tripod. It's great balance. A big face off here for Boston. They win it in the Toronto zone. Keller she takes it to your side. Scott Shirley there for support, calling for it. Pelkey. Also, some support from veteran Marvin. But it's Leslie now. She's just got to get by Keller. Easier said than done. Soderbergh pushes it away, far side. Fast can't feed it quite to Leslie. Leslie with some pressure, but Boston now tries to go the other way. Fast will slow that momentum. Nurse over to Connors. Connors has had some looks. She gets stopped there by Keller. Spooner. Down deep below the goal line, and Emily Brown pushing her body into it. In there, Somehow speed. from Marvin. Board Move. battle goes Boston's way. Spooner right there, though, trying to chip at it. Pelkey. Monroe back in play, Monroe. And Boston's Mueller. She dropped past. Here's a chance for Gable, and she scores! what they were building to, and Lauren Gable adds her second goal of the night, a big one at that, to retake the lead for Boston 3-2 in Toronto. I mean, this is just an incredible play. Brown makes the play up, and look at Alina Mueller. Look at that stalling cut to the middle of the ice. She actually cuts into the coverage, and then Gable has the puck, and she splits to herself. Look at that cut and the drop, and they created the space, and now Gable with her forehand facing the inside of the ice goes to the same spot against Kristen Campbell. Mueller with three assists tonight alone. She has been doing her job to distribute Rattray on the race. So a minute 40 now for Toronto to try to tie things up here at home. They get to win on home ice. Had a strong start here, opening scoring by Hannah Miller, who also scored their second. Starting this period now, Boston Captain Turnbull second, turns it around. She knows the time right now. Not on their side, Malte tries to drive it. Howard has space. She shoots and Soderbergh kicks it away. Campbell off to the bench. So now it's empty net situation for Toronto. That one off the end boards. Flanagan's are six on five here and in front. Puck loose, they got to fight for it. Spooner gets to it first, but Leslie gets there again. Empty net for Toronto as they look to tie things up. They have to do it now. Final minute of play at home. And Boston wants to spoil another on the road. They did it Saturday in Montreal. And how we got here, though, Lauren Gable just outstanding with her shot. And uh, Alina Mueller and the chemistry they're, they're finding. And just look at the pause, pause, wait, and going top shelf. Love hand, and again, this looks very eerily familiar, doesn't the combination, the chemistry between these two athletes? And as we mentioned, Courtney Kessel talked to us earlier, and I asked, sniper or distributor? <laughs> Delina Mueller, well, she's looking like a pretty good passer tonight, and gave tonight a, a sniper. net for Toronto right now. They're looking for that equalizer. 30 seconds. Spooner. Rather fast with a long shot there. Now near wall. Spooner's there in the mix. But Boston, they can do this. Laura 
plays it smart, although Hillary Knight has room, and again, an empty net. 16 seconds to go here, Connors for Toronto. They've got to get the equalizer if they want to keep this home win dream alive. Spooner redirects. Final five seconds. LaRock, does she get the shot off? Boston does it. Toronto open scoring for the first time in the PWHL for their team, but can hold on to the lead. Tied at two, and then this big moment, a moment for Lauren Gable to get that game winner for Boston, makes it two wins in a row. And again, Toronto left without a home victory.